broad range of backgrounds and introduce them to the wonderful world of computer animation. A lot of students here are very technical and program a lot need to understand aesthetically what's going on when they start building tools and start working collaboratively with some of the other students, more of the art-based students and likewise the art-based students really need to pick up and develop those eyes and really need to understand what's going on and have, you know, develop their aesthetic style as well. In this lab you have your own space but at the same time you just turn your head and you'll find others in their spaces and you can really share and you, they, you can come to their space and you know exchange experience and knowledge and it's 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 good. It is quite a, um, a wide spectrum that we do here, you know, animation, rigging, lighting, uh, modelling. But we do try and teach the craft skills. You know, if you look at animation as a production, it requires a lot of people to work on it uh, collaboratively. I mean, not just animators here. We're talking about um, sound designers. We're talking about editors. We're talking about directors, script writers. I mean, it's a variety of people that we need to make these projects work. Just because I'm a graduate of Bournemouth University, that was enough for the World Health Organization to contact me and they just saw my graduation project and they told me, yeah, we just want you to do this film for us and that's how it happened. Because it's a master's course, it's really sort of entirely up to the student to produce what they want to produce and they just uh, get advised by myself and Seth um, about how to get the best quality you know, from themselves and from the time that they have here.